Hey everybody, this is Robin from Our Wild Way and today we are going to be doing um, some crystal growing to go along with our earth unit study. Um, we'll be looking at some real crystals um, from our collection and um, we're going to be trying to make our own crystals. So we'll see how they turn out. Um, let's see what's in this box first. So what is in the box? We have got um, a little instruction manual. Oh! I know. An instruction manual and telling us how to do it. Now. We have trays. And then our solution. And the solution has some rock. Uh, there's like a couple of rocks. Whoa! Oh look! We did it! She did it! <laughs> what we've got in here. Okay, there's two rocks, um, and that's what the crystals will form on. And this is um, like a citrine crystal powder. I have a whole nother um, bag that I got in a different kit like probably two years ago. Um, so I'm going to use that in a big jar instead of the tray to see if I can make some bigger crystals. We're also going to use... Um, some colors to try to make different color crystals. So that should be pretty cool. If you mix it like this, it will grow better. Yep, make sure to mix up all those crystals in the middle. You gotta get them all dissolved. See all in the middle? There you go, get them all moving. So we set some aside for our seeds. We have rocks put into our little containers and now we're dissolving. No, nope, no, no, no. Okay, so these are all supposed to be almost full. Okay, and now should we pour the rest in here? I'll do it. Okay. Very good. All right, now we gotta sprinkle our crystals. Do you wanna sprinkle the crystals? Yes. All right, here, let me, um, not all of them though, why don't you just put a few on the spoon? Okay, just some, and make sure we have enough. Oop, make sure we have enough, like this. Mommy, mom, mommy. One of those to put one drop. Just squeeze one drop from the top. Careful not to, there you go, that's enough, that's enough. Now put it back in. Nope. <laughs> okay, now take your stick and mix it around a little bit. Let's see if it mixes up. It says to use um, food coloring, so I don't really know if that's gonna work. But... Oh, 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 careful, don't do it too crazy style, cause, um... okay, that might not work. It looks kind of nice. All right, now why don't you put a drop of red in that one and then we'll get orange for that one. <laughs> cool, you wanna mix that one up? Sweet, okay, very, very gentle because we don't wanna disturb. That's make red. Yeah, we don't wanna disturb the crystals, so. All right, now we have to put it somewhere quiet and we'll let this one make yellow crystals, green crystals, and a red crystals and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we have had these crystals um, going for um, about a week and a half, I think. There was still a bunch of liquid left in um, these little containers, uh, but I dumped it out. Wow, look at that. So they clung pretty well to the, um, to the little like sample rock you put in there, the little, look at that. Cool. Ow. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's check out this one. That's probably not the best way to go about doing that. Oh. Look at that.
Look at that. Turned out pretty cool. Sweet. Okay, so this is a super fun, easy project. Um, this went along with our um, geology unit. Prehistory, geology, really simple. Cool, look at those crystals. It actually, um, it on the box it suggested like four to five days, but um, I let it go for at least a week. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this little video and um, try it with your kids. Pretty fun. All right. Bye-bye.